Impression of Happen Ace hitting a lick, but the Draco jams and they end up with their faces on a shirt. <laughs> Shut the fuck up about Chandler's kids, please. <laughs> Uh, another Chandler one, dude. I go, man, we on a shirt, man. What the fuck do you want, dude? Impression of homeless hap Chandler not being able to afford high school football, but Chandler's wife steps up and adopts him. She's played by Sandra Bullock. Okay. <laughs> and at the start of the film, she's got a regular hat, and by the end, it's backwards. Is that what, you, is that what you're suggesting? The classic films. Dude, those films are always so cringe when I was younger. When the white woman goes into the hood, and, like, she teaches them math and they teach her, like, how to dug in or some shit. Those are, like, the cringiest films ever. They acted like they had, like, some great message behind it. And I was just sitting there, like, this is just retarded. <laughs> like, this is the dumbest fucking film ever. Why do you hate Chandler's kids so much? I don't. It's just funny to make jokes about a white family adopting nothing but black children it is... Like, I just don't know why everyone liked Family Guy in South Park and then the pandemic happened and everyone just acted like that shit weren't funny anymore. You know? I don't know why that was a thing. I don't understand why I can't have any, like, funny humor or anything like that any, anymore. Impression of Chandler's weight room being turned into a recording studio during fight week? Stop, dude. Hey, are those my fucking dumbbell plates on the fucking mixing desk? What's going on here? Thank you for the seven Canadian dollars, stubby. <sighs> Come on, guys. Guys, I'm telling you, you got to stop, guys. Come on. Uh, impression of Chandler at the adoption. Dude, the Chandler jokes, man. I love getting paid money, though, so I will keep reading them. <laughs> impression of Chandler at the adoption agency with a clipboard full of stats stats acting like it's an NBA draft and he has the first round pick uh, all right Mike uh, this one lost his parents in a car crash yeah but what's his vertical <laughs> shut the fuck up dude so fucking dumb all right, uh, he's actually uh, pretty good. Uh, he was excelling in a uh, nursery before uh, preschool. He actually uh, pretty, he's coming along really well, this one. Yeah, but let me see his handles, though. Heads up, Chief. He ain't got it. He ain't got it. <laughs> think fast. He just goes in there, think fast. Hits one, <laughs> hits one of these kids with a basketball. Yeah, these ones ain't going to make it. We're headed to a next town, honey. We'll try out a town over. <laughs> Think fast, kid. <laughs> yeah, they ain't got talent here, honey. We're moving on to town over. Good one, dude. Oh, my God. Chandler's kids again, dude. Impression of Chandler's kids going out to dinner, but they leak their location on an Instagram stream and get slid. Ugh. <laughs> And get slid on by the ops, leaving them tragically dead. We dead, man. Thank you for the five Australian dollars. Eh? That's all you're getting for that one, man. That's just lazy. <laughs> Channel hitting a think fast at an adoption agency is crazy. Do you? Thank you for the uh, two dollars. I'll see you. At the okay. Impression of Chandler bouncing a ball off young Leon Edwards' head. It calls him defective for not catching it and chooses artificial. And all right, dude. God, this is going crazy now. We got to chill with the Chandler stuff, dude, because I will get in trouble. Impression of the Chandlers on Urban Safari. <laughs> so. Here we have the Magumba tribe of South Africa, truly indigenous to the area. We go across the plains to find a Chandler family with a big net, truly mentally ill. Thank you for the five Australian dollars. Impression of Chandler taking Hap and Ace to their first line. Dude, stop now, dude. Stop. I'm done with the Chandler stuff. Impression of Chandler getting home after... I have no control now, guys. Please. After weighing in, ready to rehydrate, but only finding Kool-Aid and Hennessy in his house. All right. Thank you for the five dollars, dude. All right, kids. I'm ready to drink my water. What the hell is this? 
Well, at least I've got my chicken I saved in the fridge. Oh, come on! Thank you for the $2. Joke's dying. It is, yeah. I'm hoping I'll do the joke enough that it'll die out and then we can move on. Good Lord. Lord, forgive me. Yeah. Thank you for the 14 months of membership. We've definitely lost chicken connoisseur in this uh, in this process, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. <laughs> There you go. Impression of Michael Chandler freestyling in front of his kids to be hip and in style. Yeah. Um, yeah. McGregor fight swerving. Now I'm... I don't know how to rap, dude. I'm not, I'm not good at freestyling. Thank you for the $5. I never kissed a bird. No, I've just never been like sober and had like meaning behind a kiss with a girl. You know what I'm saying? It's just been like going through the motions so I can get Panani at the end of the night. <laughs> Hip and in style. Okay. All right, kids. I kind of got the flow, right? I'm getting sturdy, huh? Shut up, man. We trying to play a game, man. Impression of Chandler getting shot. <laughs> shot by happening. Stop. Stop. Stop, dude. Stop. No way you beat 11 birds, I haven't kissed one of them. No, I have. I just haven't had like a meaningful relationship, like kiss, where there's been any kind of meaning behind it. You know what I'm saying? It's just been drunk, going through the motions so I can get slops. Very rarely, though. though I haven't had since South Africa, so. Is what it is. <laughs> it's literally an annual thing, guys. But when I travel around, I'll be uh, I'll be up to my nuts and guts. Don't you worry. Impression of Leon uh, trying to get adopted by Chandler. No. Ah, fucking, I've lost a bit of how I need you. Get me through college, please. Impression of Happiness putting Chandler's face on a t-shirt and pouring one out once he gets smoked by your lips. Okay, stop it. Man, he wouldn't even be missed, man. He ain't allowed back in his damn house. Impression of Cruz trying to initiate Happiness into the cult by they keep failing every team building exercise. You guys have got to learn to work together, man. Stop taking his rims off his car while he's in there doing the cult stuff. Impression of kids angry when Chandler takes last grape soda. Man, I fucking told you, man. Impression of Cruz talking shit to Chandler. You're a disgrace, man. Thousands and thousands of years of lineage chucked away, man, just because you can't say no to your fucking sick wife. Thank you for the five Canadian dollars. All of these people crying over your jokes. So what's wrong with MMA today? This is fighting, not a playground. People getting CTE for life, crying over mean words. You know what it is? I kind of, I didn't start this like the people were definitely, I didn't spearhead this, but I was definitely amongst the movement of finally being able to critique fighters as an MMA fan. A lot of people don't realize before pandemic era and maybe just before pandemic era, around the, before the real late McGregor era when he was fighting for titles. Um, you were not allowed to say a bad thing about a fighter ever. No one was. They'd have a hissy fit every time. I'm, I'm going to say it right now. MMA fighters were the most boring, dull people. They would never talk about MMA. You've got all of these MMA fighters now that are talking about, um, you know, they do YouTube channels. They watch the fights. That was never a thing back in the day. They'd never talk about fights. Anytime they did an interview, they'd want to talk about golf or some bullshit like that. I remember this very well. And they'd have a fucking meltdown if there was any level of criticism towards them. Very, very different time for MMA fighters. They, have, they were fucking unbearable back in the day. Unbearable. Chandler conspiring with Gary to take Magni's kids. Oh my god, Darren Till was in my dream earlier. XQC was in it weirdly as well. Fuck, what other MMA fighters were in it? There were so many MMA fighters in my dream earlier, but Till won a Battle Royale Hunger Games thing to get back into the UFC. And he fought Bruno Silva in a sword fight at the end. He fought Bruno Silva in a sword fight at the end of it. And it was like uh, the scene in Alien vs. Predator when the Asian guy takes out his sword against the Predator and he honors the uh, challenge. I think it was Bruno Silva, like the guy that Weidman I poked had a good fight with Pereira guy. And they actually went through like a proper thing and I was just floating above like, no, you shouldn't be doing that. Now's not the time to push that flank. 
And Till won it. Till actually won the fucking thing. And he was like throwing uh, boogie bombs. <laughs> People were building like it was Fortnite and shit. Like, oh, who else was in the fucking dream, dude? I swear to God there was others in, so many others in the dream. Like everyone he encountered was like another MMA fighter. And for some reason, XQC was there complaining about something. That's Predators? Yeah, it is, yeah. Fuck, dude. And he threw, like, a boogie bomb on top of the build. And then someone ended up dancing underneath until, like, slid in and shot him or some shit. And he was in, like, the last three. They killed someone. Oh, who was behind the MG that was, like, posted up on a bipod or some shit? I can't even fucking remember. But that was my actual dream. Crazy. And until, at the end, drew swords with him and he won. And then, like, I don't know what happened after that, but I woke up. Something must have happened after that. Someone was, like, head glitching Till on an MG and Till, like, beamed him. And then he, like, slid in, killed some guy on, like, a slide move at the end. And then he drew swords with, like, Bruno Silva. Weird dream, I know, but... But, yeah. Really weird. I be I have... Dude, you guys need to go sober off everything, dude. Dreams are fucking crazy, dude. And they were, like, Fortnite building. Who the fuck was Fortnite building in a fucking box? And Till hit him with, like, a boogie bomb and then killed him or some shit. Fuck, who the fuck was that, man? Till wasn't even in it at the start, but then I, like, changed to his perspective. And it was like, holy shit, Till has seven kills already. And he's in the top ten or some shit. It, like, changed to his perspective at the end. Fuck, who was, like, camping in a build and then they got fucked over? I can't even remember who it was. It was a funny person to do it, though. I want to say it was, I want to say it was Abba Bakar Nurmagomedov or some shit like that. Some like niche Dagestani guy was like camping in a box. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I think Arnold was in it. I don't know. It was, a weird, it was a weird dream. Very, very weird dream. But yeah. No, not Steamroller. I've had a dream where Matt Frivola was in it before. That was a while ago though. It was a uh, Matt Frivola. It was a dream I had where Matt Frivola was trying to get into a gym that I opened. And uh, there were all these barricades and security started, like, going at him. And um, he was complaining. I was like, dude, that's fucking Matt Frivola. And he went, guru. And I went, steamroller. Some shit like that or something. And then that was just a one thing that I remember from it. That was just a split moment of it. Got to agree with the opinion. That's a pretty gay dream. You guys don't dream MMA stuff. No MMA stuff comes up in your dreams. You're not MMA fans. I'm being real with you. MMA stuff pops into my dreams so much. So much MMA stuff. I dream a lot of it. Like, weirdly, there'll be a commentary desk in the corner of my dream and Rogan's there. Like, things like that will pop up a lot. A lot of the uh, people that I see in the dream are MMA-related people. I've had a few Megan O'Leary dreams. <laughs> Let's move on, though. We don't want to talk about the Megan O'Leary dreams. I had a dream that I was in John Jones's house hiding from him in a closet. He was just creeping around the house, searching. Felt like Outlast. You had a dream that you were hiding in a closet in John Jones's house. See, chat, this is gay, you know? I my I just had a random dream where the people happened to be MMA fighters. This is hidden messaging. <laughs> I had a dream once. I was hiding in a closet and, and John Jones was outside looking to get me. <laughs> he was trying to join me in there, you guys. I'm telling you. Maybe. Thank you for the $5, John Banazak. Who knows, dude? Maybe you need to, you know, think some things through. I had a dream I was refing Tracy Cortez and Tabitha Ritchie and they started scissoring mid-fight. Okay. Like most of my sex dreams aren't about uh, women's MMA fighters. I had a few Olivi ones a while. There was a streak of Olivi ones about women. No offense, obviously. I, it, this is weird to talk about in it because it's kind of creepy. It is creepy to talk about. Having a dream you're about to plane crash and Carlos Felipe is your pilot. <laughs> I mean, that is like, I don't have faces as reference other than like people involved in MMA. Like I don't see people other than that, other than like my family. You know, I don't see anyone other than like MMA fighters. That's the content I watch. That's the, the videos I do and 
the fights I watch and shit, you know? So typically, if there's someone who's going to have a face in a dream, fucking what, half the time it will be like an obscure looking, somewhat kind of looks like an MMA fighter guy that I recognize, you know? Oh my god, who was the fucking random regional guy that I had a fucking dream about? He was just in the dream. Fuck, I can't even remember who it was. It was a fucking random regional fighter that I had a weird fucking... Oh, I think I think I had a... At some point, there was a guy, Wesley Meyer, who like popped in at one point, like just randomly like, wait, are you Wesley Meyer or some shit? He's a Cage Warriors fighter. He uh he beat Lewis McGrillen or some shit like that. Um, he fraud checked him. He's fraud checked a few good UK prospects. Yeah, he randomly was just there, like just walking around, and I just looked. Oh, fucking Wesley Myers over there. Chat. Can I just say, acting like you've never seen a man's face that you recognize in a, dr a dream and calling it gay. You guys are so sus, dude. You're very quick to jump on things and disprove them as gay. You guys don't have conscious brains, I don't think, if you don't have dreams where you see people's faces often. They're not, like, trying to find a way to pick a lock into my fucking uh, back door of my house. That is, like, hidden messaging shit, you know what I mean? Oh, you know, I just had a really weird dream that... Uh, you know, uh, Luke Rockhold was uh, lock picking the, the back door of my house, and I was trying to not let him in, and he was trying to get. Uh, that's that's like weird hidden message and shit. But they're allowed to like pop up walking down the road or some shit. Go MMA. You say the wrong thing, and I can neutralize the source of your income in a snap of the fingers like that. You little leech parasite human. Add that to the outro of your fucking video.